Hey everybody, thanks so much for being a part of this YouTube channel. I hope you're enjoying it. And I got a lot more great videos to come. Um, and right now I'm planning a trip way back up into Northwest Ontario, back into the middle of nowhere again for Memorial Day weekend. And here's the good news. I get to take my wife with me. She's going camping with me up in here. And uh, we're going to a lake that we fished one time before. We were just in there for a few hours. Uh, we just went exploring and we found this lake. Um, it's two hours of bush driving to get back into it from the paved road. And uh, so we only had to fish a few hours. We caught, the lake is just choked with walleyes. I mean, we found places we caught walleyes on virtually ever cast. And then there's some smaller northerns in there too. But let me show you a little bit about how um, how we're going to get in there and tell you a little more about what we're going to be doing while we're in there. Okay, this area here, let me find where I'm at here. Okay, there, the, there's a paved road right here. That's paved to this intersection, and then from that intersection we work our way north to this corner. And that, that's not too bad of a road, but when we turn off on this road it gets pretty rough. So we're traversing way back into the bush right here and uh, then like this creek right here has got an old broken down bridge on it um, but we can get across it I've gotten across it before and we just keep working our way back way up into the bush until we get to this lake right here and this is an old logging camp right here so it's a nice flat spot with gravel and uh, they opened up a little road down to the lake where you can actually back a boat right into the lake. It's not like a boat ramp by any means, but you, we can actually back my um, little 14 foot green boat that I use on these excursions back in the bush. We can put it right in the lake. And here's another interesting thing. There's a trapper's cabin right here on this lake. But this particular lake right here, it had so many walleyes in it, we just had so much fun. It wasn't a very clear lake. It was actually pretty cloudy water for the lakes that they have up in this area. Um, so we're going to spend some time walleye fishing in there and then one thing we did not have time to do before that I really wanted to do was go through this channel right here with uh, see if we can get our boat through there and get into this lake right here now we might have to that looks like a beaver dam right there we might have to lug our boat over a beaver dam but if we can get back up in this lake this particular lake looks to me like it's a little more conducive to having some bigger northern pike in it so I'm excited about getting in there and trying it. Like you look at this end right here, you know, there's a lot of shallow water up here. It's probably got some big cabbage flats down in this corner here. You know, same deal. It's probably got some good cabbage weed. Uh, here's another bay that, uh, and here's another one. I, I just, there's a lot of good northern looking habitat in this lake. There's another little lake there. I have no idea uh, if you, I could even get into that one. But uh, so we're going to go in there for Memorial Day weekend, spend the weekend in there, hopefully catch a bunch of walleyes, maybe some pike, and uh, do a little catch, clean, and cook also with some of these walleyes and talk about how to um, fry up these walleyes on a campfire and everything like that. It should be really fun. I'm really excited about it. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything. There's a lot of good stuff coming.